Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Today, we're going to talk about, surprise, surprise, Rolex. But maybe something you'd be surprised to hear me say. I'm going to talk about five reasons why Rolex is the perfect wristwatch. Now, I've been accused of being a Rolex hater before, and I don't think Rolexes are perfect nonetheless. I'm going to make this video, five reasons why Rolex is the perfect wristwatch, and I'm going to follow it up with five reasons you shouldn't buy a Rolex. Now, before we get started, customary wristwatch check. It wouldn't be uh, a perfect Rolex video if I wasn't wearing my Rolex Submariner Hulk. As I said, absolutely love this bad boy. And also, guys, bunch of new watches in stock, of course. You got to check out the Speedmaster Apollo 17 40th anniversary edition one of the most um controversial speedmasters ever made and we have it we also got in a gerard perigo traveler alarm very cool date alarm function a very useful complication and a panerai 535 checker dial gmt in the rare 42 millimeters not something you see every day all that and more at delray watch dot com link in the description below so yeah guys rolex <laughs> what can we say the king of watchmakers at least in the commercial sense you know everybody is going crazy for rolex sold out everywhere hard to get um you either love them or you hate them i've been accused of being a hater but i own a couple and i definitely know the five things they do better than anybody else. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Five things that make Rolex a perfect watch. The first thing is, they're tough and they just work. Between 100 and 300 meters of water resistance, 300 for most of them, uh, obviously not including the Cellinis, screw down crown, tough cases, movements that you can pour a bucket of sand in them, and they still work long service intervals, what can we say? They just work. They very, very rarely come back for under warranty, both when I worked at a Rolex AD and here at Delray Watch when I sell a Rolex. They very rarely come back under warranty. Uh, very few complaints in terms of the functionality of a Rolex. As I said, they just work and you can beat them up relative to other mechanical watches. Second, the bracelet and the water resistance. I already touched on the fact that Almost all Rolexes are at least 100 meter water resistant, up to 300 meters in the sub, and even more for the sea dwellers. But also, Rolex is typical on a bracelet. Now, what does that mean? You never have to take it off. I mean, it can get wet. You can shower with it. You can swim with it. Yes, it's part of, like, the tough factor. But I can also tell you the fact that the Rolex is iconic on a bracelet. I can see from the sales of Delray Watch, other brands bracelets tend to just sell better so that is another uh, kind of indication that that is what the market wants is bracelet watches now you add in the fact that you never really have to take it off and kind of makes rolex the perfect watch third they are status symbols and they're recognizable um you know who doesn't love being complimented or being recognized. Yeah, there are times where you want to fly under the radar, but the fact that it's kind of become an icon from James Bond to advertisements to Paul Newman, uh, if you're going to spend, you know, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, it's kind of nice that it is a status symbol. Um, at least most people would agree with me, even if they won't admit it to themselves. I mean, Everybody knows what a Rolex is. It says something about you because you're wearing a Rolex, mainly that you can afford one. Um, and obviously, it's a classic. Pretty hard to argue with that, in my opinion, especially if we're just being honest with ourselves. Fourth, they hold value. It's nice to have an object, particularly a luxury object. Now, whether it's lux luxury or not, save that for the second video, but a luxury object that holds its value. The fact that you can buy it for eight and sell it for eight, or at least not take a big loss, and in some cases even make money. Point is, with Rolex, you will, you know, for the most part, especially the sports models and the date justs, 
you're never going to take a massive hit. It's not like you bought a $14,000 you lease Norden and you go sell it to a dealer and it's really worth 2500 bucks. Because guess what? That happens very, very often. Rolex is one of the few watches where you don't really have to do research on the market. You know your investment is going to be relatively safe. And fifth, and probably the most important one in my opinion, is this extremely versatile. Yes, overall, sports watches, particularly on bracelets. But society has come to accept Rolex to be able to be worn with a suit. I mean, you can wear it to the beach, you can wear it to the gym, you can shower with it, but on top of that, you can also wear it every day to work, even if you wear a suit. Some people go as far as wearing them with tuxedos, and I am, you know, yeah, actually I am. I never censor myself. I think that's an incredibly bad taste. If you wear a Rolex with a tuxedo, you're not James Bond. Stop it. It's a faux pas. However, they are way worse things you can do. And it is probably the most versatile watch in the world. In the conditions you can bring it, bring it in and not in, in the conditions in which it's appropriate to wear it or not wear it. It is very broad. It is almost never inappropriate to wear a Rolex for any sort of activity or occasion. And that is a masterful thing for a watch to be able to do. Anyway, guys, that's five reasons why Rolex is the perfect watch. But is it actually the perfect watch? Stick around for my second video and subscribe for the five reasons why I think you shouldn't buy a Rolex. Guys, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any content. And of course, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.